people all over this world. Yeah, people all over this world. Say people all over this world, they're looking for Jesus. Hello, my friend. It's me again, Bishop John R. Stevenson, and I would like to welcome you to another edition of It's a Word Thing. Father, we thank you so much for this opportunity to study the Word of God today. Father, I thank you for the anointing that's upon my life to preach and teach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I pray for the viewers, Father, those who are listening to the teaching today, that you will give them ears to hear what the Spirit is saying to the church today. Everybody that's listening today, Father, give them ears to hear what the Spirit is saying today. It is not I that's speaking, but it's the Holy Spirit of God Himself speaking through me to them today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen, my friends. Hey, we've been talking about, we've started this new series of teaching on faith still is. And so we want to continue to do that. We want to continue to do that. Uh, as we ended our last telecast, uh, we was talking about how uh, what God did in the last year, he did as a, as a landmark and a, 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 a memento for this year so that we can look back and be able to, when the enemy comes and tempts us, <clears throat> when we find ourselves in hard places, we can look at him and say, we're going to wait on the Lord because we know that faith still is. Hallelujah. We know that faith still is. And we started in uh, our foundational scripture for that was Hebrews chapter 13, verses 7 and 8. And so I, I want to read that to us uh, again. It says, remember them which have the rule over you, who have spoken unto you the word of God. Then that's important, friend. That's important. Who have spoken to you the word of God. Faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of of God, listen friend, whose faith follow considering the end of their conversation. Watch this, Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today and forever, today and forever. And we said just like God is love, just like God is love, Jesus is faith. And we're going to use the word of God to prove that to us that faith still is. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever, is to say to us that faith still is because Jesus Christ is faith. He's not, faith is not a concept nor an idea, my friend. Faith is a person, and that person is the Lord Jesus Christ. So let's get into the teaching. Let's see what God is saying. Get your Bibles, friend. Get your Bible. Get your pencil and a piece of paper, and let's look at what God is saying to us today. Hallelujah. So, so the Bible says, so the Bible says that Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. If Jesus still, watch this, if Jesus still is, then faith still is. If Jesus still is, then faith still is because the scripture said that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So if Jesus Christ still is, then faith still is too. Watch this. If, 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 if God is the same and he is, Let's look in Malachi chapter 3 and verse number 6, and let's see what it says over there. Malachi, <clears throat> we know that's the last Old Testament book, Malachi chapter 3, and let's look at verse number 6. Let's look at verse number 6, because we're talking about faith still is, and we're talking about faith being a person and not a concept nor an idea. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, so let's look at what the Bible says right here in Malachi chapter 3 and verse number 6. For I am the Lord, listen what it says, for I am the Lord, I change not. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. He said, I am the God, I am the Lord, watch this, for I am the Lord and I change not. Somebody say faith still is. So if God changes not, and Jesus is God in the flesh. Jesus is the Word made flesh. And Jesus is faith. Faith still is. Faith don't change. If God is not changing, Jesus is not changing. Word can't not change because the Bible says if we add anything to the Word or take anything away from the Word, then it's no longer the Word. So if that's true, friend, then faith 
still is, and faith cannot change either. If faith worked last year, faith is good for this year. If faith was good for any other situation in your life, it's still good. No matter how big you think your situation is, friend, faith still is. And God is still responding to faith. That's all he's responding to, friend. If we look in Scripture, we find out that your faith made it happen. Your faith, your faith, your faith. That is the thread throughout the gospel, friend, that Jesus told everybody that their faith made it happen. So if faith was good yesterday, if, it, if we needed faith yesterday in 2015, friend, we need faith today in 2016. And because things changed, yes, sir, yes, ma'am, things have changed. The old year is gone. We have a new year. And so we're going to most definitely need faith this year because there are more things coming, more change coming. And we have to be to adjust to the changes that's coming, not to the place to where we compromise who we are as Christians, but we're going to have to adapt in our, and we're going to need faith to be able to adapt uh, in this world that we live in so that we don't compromise who we are as, as Christians. We have to believe God and trust God. They can pass all the laws they want, friend, but faith still is. God changes not. The Lord changes not, my friend. For I am the Lord, I change it not. And so we know that God is not a liar. Mm -hmm. He's not a liar, and we got scripture to prove that as well. But let's, 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 let's rock with this. Let's follow this. Uh, so so if, the, if the scripture says that, then that means Jesus still is the same as well because he changed it not either. Watch this. Jesus is faith. And so I'm going to prove that to you using scripture that Jesus is faith. All right? Watch this. So the Bible said that faith cometh by hearing. Faith cometh by hearing, right? But how does faith come? Faith cometh by hearing, but how does faith come? And we're going to get to that, friend. We're going to get to that because the scripture says faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The Bible says faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. In Hebrews chapter 13, verse number seven, we see the scripture says, watch this, remember them which have the rule over you, watch this, who have spoken unto you the words of God whose faith follows. Come on, friend, whose faith follows. Okay, Jesus says, follow me. Come on, clap your hand for Jesus. And faith, they speak the word, the, the spoken word to you, and they're whose faith follow. Jesus says, Follow me. In other words, follow faith because Jesus is faith. Uh-huh. He's the word made flesh. He said, follow me. Come on, friend. Walk with me right now. Follow me. Jesus said, follow me. Jesus is faith. He said, I'll make you fisher of men. So let's look at this, friend, because this is, this is very important. It, faith comes. And so if faith comes, I, I have to see how faith comes. How is it that faith comes? And say, well, faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God is what the scripture says. Let's look at it then, friend. Let's look at it. And before we go there, I, I want to go to Exodus chapter 3, verses 7 and 8, because I want to read something to you there. I want to read something to you in Exodus back here, if you don't mind. Exodus chapter 3, verses 7 and 8. Exodus after chapter 3, verse Verse 7 and 8, listen to what the scripture says. And the Lord said, I have surely seen the afflictions of my people which are in Egypt and have heard their cry by reason of their taskmasters. Watch this. For I know their sorrow. Verse number 8. And I am come down to deliver them out of the hands of the Egyptians. Listen to what the scripture said. The scripture says, he says, and I have come down. Listen, friend, faith comes. But how, how does faith come? He say, I have come down. God himself said he had come down. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. Verse 13 in John chapter 1 says, and the word became flesh. Walk with me, friends, so we understand because I'm going to teach you, show you without a doubt that Jesus is faith. Just like God is love, Jesus is faith. And if Jesus still is, faith still is. The Bible said that Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father, making intercession for us daily. Come on, friend, clap your hand for Jesus, right? 
And so the scripture says, watch this, the scripture says, God himself said, and I have come down to deliver them. Somebody say, faith cometh. Yeah, faith cometh, faith cometh, and faith cometh by the word of God, by hearing the word of God. It's all in the text. They spoke unto you the word of God who faith followed. Mm -hmm. Faith follows the word. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld the only begotten son of God, the glory of God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. And so that takes me again, that takes me to John chapter 1, verse 1 and 3. It takes us there, friend, in John chapter 1, it takes us there. And so we're going to follow the thread of the Holy Ghost. We're going to follow this thread and let the Holy Ghost teach us and show us the things we need to know because he said, I want you to know that faith still is. It still is important. It's still relevant. You still need <laughs> You still need it. Don't ever think that you're going to get by without faith, friend, because you need faith. You need that. Hallelujah. Uh, go on and pray, pray for Bishop because I'm, I'm excited about this thing. I'm excited about it. And so we in the script of God. And so to, to solidify and to substantiate that, we have to get in the word of God to see that this is indeed true because we have to find out that God is love. That, that's something that we have to be taught. We have to get the revelation that God is love. The very essence of God is love, but the very essence of Christ is faith because faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Glory to God, glory to God, glory, glory to God. Let, let, let's look at uh, Matthew chapter 17, verse number five. Matthew chapter 17 and verse number five. Let's look at that verse right quick. Matthew chapter 17 and verse number five. Watch, friend, because we are, we, we, we are verifying, mm-hmm, watch now, uh, Matthew 17, 5. It says, while he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and behold, a voice out of the clouds which said, watch this, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Watch, friend, hear ye him. Come on, walk with me, friend. This is my son in whom I'm well pleased. Listen, this is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. Hear ye him. Faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. We said that Jesus is faith. God say, hear ye him. Come on, friend, walk with me for a minute. Walk with me for a minute. In John chapter 20, in John chapter 20, verses 30 and 31, go there for me, please. John chapter 30, Verses, wait a minute, I'm sorry, John chapter 20, not 30. There's no 30th chapter in John. John chapter 20, verse number 30. Uh-huh. Listen to what it says. This is what it says. And many other signs did Jesus in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book, but these are written that ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, uh huh, and that believing you might have life through his name. You might have through his name. The Bible, God wanted, he said, faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. He said, hear ye him. Now watch this now, watch this, because I, I, I want to make sure the faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And it says that these things was canon that we might believe that Jesus is that we might believe, and that's what faith is. Faith is uh, confidence in God, believing in God, that we might believe in him. Follow me, friend. Follow me. Now, let's go to Revelations 19 and verse 13. Revelations 19, that's the last book. Revelations 19. Let's go over here right quick. And let's look at verse number 13. Uh huh. Verse number thirteen. But because we have to, we, we have to verify everything that we're saying. Friend, we have to verify everything. And I, I'm gonna calm down because I'm so excited right now. I'm so excited right now. But I want to make sure, friend. I want to make sure that you understand what God is saying to you when He say faith still is, and who, not what faith is, friend, but who faith is. All right. We're in Revelation chapter nineteen. 
verse 13, and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, and his name is called the Word of of God and his name is called the word of God. Let me read to you again. And his and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood and his name is called the word of God. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Come on friend, pray for bishop right now. Pray for your bishop right now. Hallelujah. Faith cometh by hearing. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Faith comes, my friend. Faith comes. Faith comes. Watch now. Faith comes. In uh, Galatians chapter 4, verse number 6. Well, let, let, me, let, me, stay, let, let, me, let me stay here. Let me, let me stay here. Let me stay here. Let me stay here. If faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God and Jesus name and Jesus name is the word of God and God said, this is my son in whom I'm well pleased, hear ye him. And Jesus is the word of God made flesh who comes and dwell amongst us, who come and dwell amongst us, beloved, that means Jesus is faith. Jesus wasn't faith. He is faith. He is not going to be faith. He is faith. Faith cometh. Faith cometh. The Bible says now I can go. The Holy Spirit is releasing me to go over here to Galatians chapter 4 and verse number 6. Galatians chapter 4. Faith cometh, my friend. We, we're going we're gonna to verify all of this. Faith cometh. Watch what it says in Galatians 4 and verse number 6. Because in verse Galatians 4 and 4, it says, in the fullness of time, God sent his son. Glory to God. In Galatians chapter 4, verse 4, it says, but when the fullness of time was come, God sent forth his son made of a woman made under the law. Faith comes. Watch now verse number 6. And because ye are sons, God has sent forth the spirit of his son in your heart, crying, Abba, Father. Faith comes comes the spirit of his son faith comes God sent the spirit of his son glory to God faith cometh faith cometh Jesus Jesus the spirit of his son Jesus is the spirit which is the Holy Ghost the spirit of his son he sends it faith comes my friend faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God Holy Ghost Holy Ghost Look, come on friend walk with me Jesus wasn't faith he is faith he was not going to be faith. He is faith. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Uh, in Romans chapter 12, in Romans chapter 12 and verse number 3, please. Romans chapter 12 and verse number 3. Let's take a look at the text. Let's take a look at the text. Let's take a look at the text. I want to stay true to the Holy Spirit right now and, uh, uh, and, and, and follow what God has given us. And as he lead me, I will go that way. But let's look at this. Let's look at this in, in Romans chapter 12, verse number three. Listen to what it says. For I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you. Listen to the verbiage now. Every man that's among you, he's speaking to the church in Rome. He says, watch now, for I say through the grace given unto me to every man that is among you. He's not saying everybody in the whole world, friend. He say among you, watch this, not think of himself more highly than he ought to think but to think soberly according as God, watch this, has dealt to every man the measure of faith. Listen, friend, he's not talking about, Paul is not saying that he's dealt the measure of faith to everybody. And the reason he haven't dealt the measure of faith to everybody, the reason everybody haven't gotten the measure of faith is because everybody don't have Jesus. Glory to God. And because everybody don't have Jesus, friend, everybody don't have the measure of faith. That's only one measure. It's the measure, not a measure, the measure. And that measure is Jesus Christ. The scripture says that it's his faith. It's his faith. It's his faith because he is faith. And because he is and still is, faith 
still is. And faith is still relevant today. Faith is still needed today. Faith is still the only thing that moves God. Glory to God. And so it says, God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. What man? To every man that's among you. To every man that's among you, not to every man in the world, friend. Because listen, I, I, I'm going to say this again to you. Friend, me sitting down in this chair right here does not take faith. It's a learned behavior. And there's a lot of learned behaviors in our life, and we want to we wanna equate that with faith. But if I don't have Jesus, friend, the Bible says faith cometh. If Jesus hasn't come into your life, then faith have not come into your life. And you can say what you want. You can jump up and down, holler and scream and kick like a baby, flop on the floor like a fish out of water, friend. If Jesus haven't come into your life, you don't have the measure of faith. Because the scripture said in Galatians 4 and 6 that those of us who are believers, God sent the spirit of his son who is faith in our hearts. Come on, friend. Come on, I'm, I'm in the Bible, I'm in the Bible, I'm in the Bible. And so I'm getting ready to prove this to you. And some people look at Scripture and they say Scripture is contradicting itself, but you have to hear what's being said in the text, friend, so that you understand there's no error in Scripture. The error is in our understanding what God is saying. 2 Thessalonians 3 and 2, let's take a look at it. 2 Thessalonians 3 and 2, let's look at what it says. 2 Thessalonians 3 and 2. I'll start at one so it make a little sense to you. Listen to what it says. Second Thessalonians chapter three. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord, there we go again, that the word of the Lord, that's what we saw over here in Hebrews, the word of God and the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified even as it is with you. Watch now verse two. And that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men, for all men have not faith. You see that, friend? For all men have not faith. Wicked men don't have faith. Unsaved people don't have faith. He said, for all men don't have faith. Is that a contradiction of what Paul said in Romans chapter 12, verse number 3? No, friend. He said to the men that's among you. Excuse me. And so what we have to understand is, friend, faith comes. And we, we're going to deal with it, friend. We're going to work this thing like a nine to five because God wants us to be sure that we understand that faith is not a concept or an idea. Faith is a person in the Lord Jesus Christ. And we're going to go deeper into it because you need to be able to see it. And so all men don't have faith because all men don't have Jesus. And so if Galatians 4 and 6 says that God sends the spirit of his son in the hearts of those of us who are believers, that means you have to be a believer to get the measure of faith. In order for you to have faith, faith has to come. But faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Friend, come on, work with me for a minute. Work with me for a minute because I'm in the Bible. I'm not making anything up. We are in the Bible and we are listening to the word of God, dealing with the word of God so that we come to a real truth in conclusion about what it is that the Word of God is really saying. But in this year of 2016, friend, you need to understand that faith still is and that you still need faith. Because a new year has come don't mean that you've overcome everything. You've crossed over into a new year. But friend, if you left your faith over there, friend, you're in trouble. You need to bring what you need to bring with you. Now, truly, old things need to stay back there. You need to leave 2015 back there. But the things that God helped you with and brought you through last year is a landmark, a, a point for you to look back and say, if God brought me through that, friend, he'll bring me through this too. Faith still is relevant, prevalent to today. It is still necessary for you and I today. Faith still is, friend. We haven't gotten to the place to where we don't need faith. This is a new year, and you need faith for what's coming in the new year. Faith is what's going to bring you through. It's going to bring you through. It's going to help you through. Faith is what's going to help you get to where you need to get to. Because there's some things that God is going to say to your friend, and you're going to say, that's impossible. There's no way I can do it. Right, there's no way you can do it. But faith in God will make that thing happen. Your faith have made it happen. Your faith have done this for you. Your faith, your Lord, the one you believe in, Jesus, your Jesus, he's got to be my Jesus. Watch, friend, work with me. 
He said, your faith have made this happen. Watch this. You believe in me. I'm your Jesus. So that means I'm your faith because faith is Jesus. He is faith, friend. He is faith. Are you walking with what God is, is saying? Can you receive what God is saying right now, friend? I, I, I pray that I'm not doing anything to distract you or cause you not to get what God is saying to you today. This is 2016, and faith is still necessary. Faith is still needed. Faith is still real. Faith is still Jesus. Still. Faith still is, friend. And you need to know that faith haven't changed. It's the same. Got the same power. Same power, friend. My time is coming to a close. My time is coming to an end. But I've enjoyed this. I hope you have. And I pray, I pray that you can receive what God is saying to you. Friend, if you follow this teaching, follow this teaching. We're going to stick to the word. Follow the teaching, friend. I guarantee you, your life will never, ever be the same if you follow what God is saying to you. As always, I want to invite you to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior because that's how faith comes. Why is it that you can't believe for certain things? Because you don't have the faith to. Faith is not what's seen. Faith is for what you can't see. Jesus came so that we can see what we can't see. Help us do what we can't do on our own. Friend, faith still is, and you still need faith. I'm Bishop John R. Stevenson, and this has been a word thing. God bless you, my friend, and may God keep you is my prayer for you. Until we see each other again, same time, same channel. God bless you, my friend. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. People all over this world, yeah. People all over this world. Say people all over this world. They're looking for Jesus.